Gender-based violence is defined as any sort of harm done to a person or group of people based on their real or perceived sex, gender, sexual orientation and gender identity. Types of gender-based violence include, but are not limited to, physical violence. This includes any intentional use of physical force against someone, such as hitting, punching, slapping, kicking or any form of bodily harm. Sexual violence. This includes any sexual act or behavior that is forced or coerced, including rape, sexual assault, sexual harassment, or any sexual exploitation. Emotional and psychological violence. This includes any behavior that causes emotional or mental harm to someone, such as verbal abuse, threats, intimidation, or isolation. Economic violence. This includes any act that denies a person the ability to earn a livelihood or control their finances, such as limiting access to resources or forcing someone to work without pay. Cultural or traditional violence. This refers to any act that is based on cultural or traditional norms and practices that perpetuate gender inequality and discrimination. Guarding against becoming a gender-based violence perpetrator requires a conscious effort to change attitudes and behaviors that perpetuate violence and abuse. Here are some steps you can take. Educate yourself about gender and power dynamics, as well as the impact of violence and abuse on individuals and society. Challenge attitudes and beliefs that support violence and abuse, including sexist or discriminatory language, jokes and behavior. Practice healthy communication skills such as active listening, empathy and respect for others' boundaries. Seek help if you have a history of abusive behavior or have been a victim of violence or abuse. Build healthy relationships based on equality, mutual respect and consent. Be a role model for positive behavior by speaking out against gender-based violence and advocating for gender equality in your community. Remember, gender-based violence is a serious violation of human rights and can have long-lasting consequences for survivors and their families. Let's take responsibility for our actions and work towards creating a culture of respect and equality for all.